Thanksgiving is a genuine American tradition. For many, after months of time apart, it's finally a chance to get back together with family and celebrate with gratitude. But one thing is for certain, it's also a time for the most anticipated mouth-watering meal of the year. Hey guys and girls, and welcome back to The Daily Hit. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you receive notifications when our latest videos are released. Today, we're talking turkey with some fabulous Thanksgiving meal ideas. And be sure to stick around for the end of the video to see a dream come true dessert recipe that'll blow your mind. Let's load up our plates. Up first, Thanksgiving salad. Okay, leafy salads aren't necessarily top of mind when it comes to Thanksgiving traditions, but a turkey day salad isn't about lettuce, tomatoes, or balsamic vinaigrette. For a Thanksgiving salad, incorporate the fall harvest. We're talking about honey crisp apples, tasty onions, butternut squash, kosher salt, toasted pecans, cranberries, romaine hearts, crumbles of sharp cheddar, and fresh green beans smothered with olive oil. Remember to garnish with some white wine or apple cider vinegar and a touch of honey for smooth sweetness. Great starter to wake up those taste buds on Thanksgiving Day. Now, how about some roasted sweet potatoes? First up, wash, peel, and cut your sweet potatoes, or yams, as some Americans like to call them. Smother them with olive oil, some cinnamon, honey, and salt and pepper, then stick them in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. When cooked, drizzle a little more olive oil on top and serve hot, a simple mouth-watering side that'll turn you into a rock star. You may not have heard of this one, sheet pan turkey. So obviously, Thanksgiving dinner just isn't complete without turkey, even if you don't want to cook the whole bird. If it's a small gathering, get some turkey breasts. In a side bowl, combine sliced apples, onions, some lemon, sage sprigs, and chicken broth. Then rub your turkey breasts with salt, pepper, and paprika. Dip your breasts in the apple mixture. Place the breasts on a rimmed baking sheet, apply a little olive oil, then cook your turkey breasts at 155 degrees for about an hour. Welcome to quick and easy, juicy and delicious sheet pan turkey. It goes well with sage leaves on top and a little melted butter for dipping. How about something sweet, like baked apples? Here's a unique dish that'll drive your guests wild. Combine some dark brown sugar, rum, salt, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. Simmer the mixture for about 4 minutes, then set it aside. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Core some apples. Put a cinnamon stick inside each apple. Pour the glazing syrup and bake. Remember to place a bit of butter on top of each apple. Bake it for about 30 minutes and ta-da! You have tasty baked apples with rum and cinnamon served best with some fresh ice cream. Your guests are going to want dessert first. Now let's talk main course, the Thanksgiving turkey. So let's say the entire family is coming and you're cooking a large bird. It's never simple. Roasting a turkey is a skill that takes time to master, just ask grandma, but not this one, my friends. Let's show you how to roast the easiest Thanksgiving turkey ever. First, wash the turkey and remove the neck, gizzards, and intestines from the cavity. Ditch the liver, too. Now, preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Pat the turkey dry with some paper towels. Now, season the entire turkey with salt and pepper. Fill the cavity with onions, carrots, apples, and herbs. Then place the turkey breast side up in a pan and brush with butter. Tent it with some aluminum foil and cook for two hours for a 12 pound turkey. Remove the foil, add some more melted butter, and bump the oven temperature up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Roast that turkey for another hour and done. Something tells me you'll thank us later for sharing this recipe. 
Now, why not a soup this year, a little appetizer before the main course, like butternut squash soup? First, add some olive oil to a pan. Add some onion, garlic, sage, and one teaspoon of salt to the pan. Then add some pepper to taste. Let it cook for about 15 minutes. Lower the heat to medium, add the tomatoes, and let that broth cook. In a separate pot, cook the squash with some salt until it becomes tender. Once cooked, add the broth to the squash, reduce the flame, and cook uncovered until everything is tender, about 20 minutes or so. Then let it sit and cool. Stir the soup, adding a little vinegar for taste, and garnish with some Parmesan cheese while serving to add a blast of flavor. And finally, pumpkin cream pie, the piece de resistance, the capstone of your Thanksgiving meal, the dessert that defines the season. So how is this masterpiece made? Well, first, preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Combine some cream cheese, pumpkin puree, cream, brown sugar, and pumpkin pie spice. Add two eggs one by one and mix it all together with a mixer. Pour the filling into the pie tray. Place it on a baking sheet and bake for about 50 to 60 minutes. Then remove the pie from the oven. In a chilled bowl, mix heavy cream with a hand mixer until it begins to thicken. Add some brown sugar and pumpkin pie spice and beat until soft peaks form. Spread this on top of the pie, chill in the refrigerator for two hours, then serve at the end of the meal. Mmm! Pumpkin cream pie, the perfect climax on Thanksgiving. So, which of these Thanksgiving dishes is your favorite? Will you try any of these this year? Do you have a better recipe? Tell us in the comments below. And most importantly, happy Thanksgiving. Here's hoping you're surrounded by friends, family, great food, and make memories that'll last a lifetime. We're certainly grateful you spent some time with us watching today's video. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And stay blessed. We'll see you next time right here on The Daily Hit.